All right, guys, so we're gonna get out there and uh, go do a hunt today. It's been a while since I went after deer, took a little time off, um, did some duck hunting, stuff like that, but uh, finally got some time to get out today or this evening. And uh, it's today in Wisconsin, got a pretty cold wind. We had first snow this morning and um, you know, it just feels like a pretty good day to get out there. So uh, with all the wind going on and kind of how cold it is, I think I'm going to switch tactics a little bit and go from where I was hunting on the field. I'm gonna go to the opposite end where I shot my uh, buck last year. Over there, it's really thick wooded area surrounded by bedding. Tons of deer go through there. And I feel like especially today that, um, you know, we're getting closer to the rut. Uh, it's really windy. I feel like they might be kind of hunkered in there. So I'm gonna kind of just sneak in, see what it looks like. I haven't been back there since last season. Pretty much just look for fresh sign and set up on it and just kind of see what happens. But first, I do want to mention that my book, Wild Hope, is finally live. So if you guys are into uh, novels, about the outdoors definitely check it out it's a really good story and i'm not just saying that because i wrote it but a lot of people have been telling me that they couldn't put it down i'll put the link um, in the description below so all right uh, i'm gonna go outside i just got luminox on my arrows and um, i'm gonna go shoot a little bit get warmed up and then gonna hit the woods just about to the spot. You gotta go back pretty far and go through some pretty thick stuff. But then it opens up and like I said, today is super, super windy. I'm sure you can hear the wind, but it's a lot more calm in here. So that's kind of why I wanted to set up back in here tonight. Because I figure, I know that they come through here feeding. I'm not really sure what on, but there's brows everywhere, acorns. Who knows, but um, I know that when it's like this windy, they get, they like to hunker down in these little sanctuary feeding areas. So I'm gonna go further in and I find a good tree, get set up for the night.
spot right now. Um, I, I set up, there's fresh droppings everywhere. Um, the area's manned down everywhere. They're using this area to walk through. And I saw them doing it last year, so I'm assuming the same thing's happening. I'm gonna see uh, if I can get them to come out, you know, from that thick bedding area. And, you know, maybe kind of cruise through here. I know a lot of bucks come through this way, so hoping maybe I can get it done and get my buck tag filled. Um, but if I see a nice doe, I'm going to take that too. insane. I ended up getting down from my tree stand because it was way too windy and way too cold and I was like I'm gonna dip out and go home and I'm just going duck hunting in the morning. I'm like you know what I'm just gonna sneak my way through the woods knowing how windy it is. I've, I've had it happen before where I walked out and it was a really windy day. I was face to face with a big old doe and had I had my bow at the time, I would have smoked her. And that's part of what makes you a better hunter is these experiences. So knowing that, I knew that it was windy and I could sneak through the woods and get close to deer potentially. Well, I started following these deer trails. And no lie, I, came, I saw a little bit of movement. I stopped and she had no idea I was here. I stopped behind some bushes. She came around the corner, all of a sudden looked at me. She had no clue what the hell I was. And I was able to just draw my bow on her and I just 
just let my arrow fly. I'll show you how far away she was. Right there is where she was. And here's where I am. She came around that, that tree right there. And she just walked right into the open, like perfect broadside shot. She ran off. I did not hear her drop. I didn't see my arrow either, so I don't know where she is, but uh, I guess I'm gonna start tracking. Well, I found my arrow. It's a good sign. <laughs> oh, wow. Literally no blood. I don't like that at all. I wonder if I hit her high. So I came back to the house. Um, the shot looked perfect. Obi. Oh my gosh. Um, he's obsessed with deer. So uh, the shot looked really good. <clears throat> I mean, I, I have my Luminox set up, like I said, and I, I watched it. It went, I mean, she was so close. There's blood somewhere out there, but I wasn't finding it yet. So I decided to back out and I'm going to go back uh, with Obi and search, probably just let it go overnight and just pray that the coyotes don't get her. Um, and uh, right now I'm going to go review the shot footage and see if the shot footage looks really good. I might even go out tonight. Um, otherwise, uh, I'll just probably let her sit. It's really cold. Um, but here's what the arrow looks like. So definitely a pass through, but I mean, very little blood. Thankfully, I can review the shot footage and see what it looks like. Um, I'm not real confident looking at this arrow, to be honest. But, like I said, she was super close. And, I mean, it was a totally different kind of shot than if I was up in a tree, you know, 20, 30 yards away. So, um, I guess we'll see. All right, so we let that deer sit overnight. I couldn't find any blood right away. I didn't want to keep, you know, tromping around the woods looking for it. Um, my phone was dying, my battery and my headlamp was going, so I'm just like, I'm gonna back out. And it was super cold, so not too worried about uh, the deer spoiling or anything like that. Also, it was super windy, and I don't know too much about coyotes, but I do know that if it's super windy, it's not really good for coyote hunting. So I'm hoping that they were just hanging out near their den or whatever and not exploring and I'll come up and find my deer. So uh, I got Obi with me. We're gonna go look for this deer. Really? Well, haven't found anything yet. Obi uh, has got a really good nose, but we're not even finding blood, so it's a little disconcerting. But we'll keep looking. Um, so we've been searching for a few hours now and not finding any blood. And I have never seen this before. Even when I've had a bad shot, I find blood, um, especially with those broadheads, but I'm not finding anything. So I got Obi with me. We're gonna kind of just grid search and hopefully his nose will pick something up if, if he's dead nearby. Um, based on the shot that I saw, it looked like a perfect shot, perfect hit. But, so I have no clue what could have gone wrong, but uh, we're just gonna keep on looking. Well, did not expect to see this many ticks on my dog. Definitely uh, gonna have to be pulling those off later. Well, I don't know what happened, but um, couldn't find her. So the only, when I shot, it looked perfect, but a lot of things happened in that moment and I was, my adrenaline was going and I was pretty excited that I was shooting a deer so close. Um, that was the first for me. 
Um, it's just another one of those experiences that's gonna make me a better hunter. What I think happened is she was so close that she heard my bow and, you know, ducked. And I just, just got her. I didn't see any sort of sign that I hit lungs or anything like that. It did look more like muscle blood to me. Other thing that could have happened is could have hit one of those branches that were in front of her and um, didn't know. Honestly, when I shot, I was watching, I was watching the the lighted knock more than I was actually watching the shot. So my eyes were just naturally drawn to that green light. I was, it, it just looked like it, I knew I hit her, but obviously I didn't hit her in vitals. Um, and if I did, I mean, I, I mean, we grid searched, we did everything we could. We were out there for a long time and I didn't even find a, like a drop of blood. It was pretty weird. So versus, you know, when I shot my deer earlier um, this year, right away, we were finding blood spraying everywhere. So but it wasn't a vital hit, unfortunately. Um, I'm still gonna post this video for you guys to see because I'm not one of those guys that's just gonna only show you the good stuff. I wanna show you the bad stuff too. Um, Cause you know, that's how we all learn. So now we are fast approaching the rut and I was definitely seeing some nice rubs in there. I'm hoping to get a nice buck. So we'll see what happens, but uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.